All right, as cleanup continues from barrel, it's deja vu again for one Spring Branch homeowner. She tells us she's making repairs to her house for the second time in two months after being hit by the derecho in May. The damage cost is leaving her with a pricey deductible for both insurance claims. Reporter John Paul Baraja sat down with an attorney and he's joining us now live with much more on how you can protect yourself. John Paul. Keith, Danielle, and the reason for that is because as continued efforts go for cleaning up after barrel, adding to the mess of downed trees and debris is filing insurance claims. And for one woman we spoke to, she's now had to file two claims in as many months. A huge crash and sheetrock falling, walls collapsing, and then really you heard the rain pouring in. It's a terrifying experience. This homeowner has had to live twice in a matter of weeks. A tree crashing onto a roof. First in May with the winds of Derecho and now with Hurricane Barrel. Two deductibles of over $10,000 in two months. Which brought us to the office of attorney Hunter Klein with Green, Klein, Wood and Jones Law. And then in this situation, is she stuck with these two deductibles that are above $10,000? <sighs> Probably yes, unfortunately. There are a lot of options available for funding your deductible. A lot of companies will offer pretty low interest financing for these exact situations. Klein adds that insurance companies are also now applying percentage deductibles to name storms, which is also driving up the price. Now with both home and financial damage, Cynthia worries that more damage could occur with hurricane season just getting started and what that could mean for her insurance policy. I definitely don't want to have my insurance coverage canceled or my rates to go up. Insurance companies cannot individually raise rates. Now they can raise rates in various zip codes based on the loss history of that area. Klein explains insurance companies can cancel your policy if you file three or more claims that are not weather related, but that weather related claims cannot be counted against the homeowner. Well, you're in the middle of hurricane season. Do you file right after each incident? Yes, that's a very good question. The reality is insurance policies require insurance to give prompt notice after the loss or damage occurs. Klein advises the best thing to do is to be proactive and inspect and document the condition of your property. Look for cracks in your windowsills. Look if you've got molding around your ceilings. Look for things like that. Take pictures of those. Walk through with a bright flashlight after a rainstorm. Look and see if you've got water spots on your roof. If you do, take pictures of them. If you don't, take pictures of that too. A client says a common mistake people often make is limiting themselves with their claims when an adjuster comes to inspect the home. He says you should identify the damages you can see, but also ask the inspector or the adjuster to inspect the entire property just to be on the safe side. John Paul Barajas, KPRC 2 News.